pelvic girdle pain, or PGP as we call it, it used to be called symphysis pubis dysfunction. It's a very important issue and we're becoming much more aware of it recently, but previously it was something that people always put down to just being pregnant. It's very important to bear that in mind that it is really not part of your pregnancy and it needs to be dealt with as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we're not entirely sure what causes it. So some women will get it, some women, some women will not. Recurrence rates are particularly high. So if you had any of these symptoms in your first or second pregnancy, subsequent pregnancies, you will tend to have an increase of those symptoms. So it's very important that if you've had it before, that you get onto your chartered physiotherapist as soon as you know that you're pregnant, or if you haven't had any of these symptoms before, but you start to feel them developing, that again, you contact your chartered physio very, very quickly so that you can get a diagnosis and they can start working on trying to resolve this problem the symptoms can vary. The main thing you'll feel, uh, the main symptoms that you will feel will be pain around the pubic joint at the front. You may feel sacroiliac joint pain. You could have mid and lower back pain. You can have groin pain. You can have front of hip pain, pain in your thigh. So there's lots of different ways that this can manifest, but it's very important that if you do have any of these symptoms that you talk to your physio and make sure that they outrule PGP, or if it is PGP, that they get started on treatment very quickly. It will manifest in daily life um, by you know, feeling pain when you're turning in bed. You'll have difficulty getting out of the bed as your knees move far apart. So you know, one of the things that we always advise is to try and keep the knees together as you're swinging out of the car, as you're swinging out of the bed. If you're a fast walker, again, this can have a problem effect on the pubic joint because you're shearing through the joint at the front. Again, we would advise people to walk with a slightly smaller stride, trying to keep the knees again from moving too far apart. Other ways that it can manifest in life then is just pain on general movement. So, you know, it's very, very important that you deal with it quickly. Some of the symptoms can be very mild, but then unfortunately, sometimes people get very disabled with this such that they might even end up on crutches. It's very, very important that we deal with it as quickly as we possibly can. It's not part of being pregnant. The most important thing to bear in mind is a quick diagnosis will help to maintain things for you and recurrent rates are high. Recurrence rates are high. So it's important if you've had it on previous pregnancies that you speak to your physio as soon as you know that you're pregnant. Other ways to try and ease your symptoms with PGP include when you're lying in bed, trying to put a little pad underneath your bump when you're side lying to support it and put a pillow between your two knees to keep your frame a little bit more square so that the top leg isn't pulling down through the pelvis area. What you also need to do when you're getting dressed is to try and sit down when you're putting on underwear or trousers rather than standing up and again separating the knees further apart from each other. Sitting down, being a bit more stable in that way will take the pressure off the front of your pelvis. When you're standing, if you're waiting for the bus, if you're standing waiting for the kettle to boil, make sure that you're standing equally through both feet so that the weight is evenly distribu distributed through both feet rather than standing more on one side than on the other.